What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Today is an exciting day for Samsung Galaxy phone users because we now have a brand new updated Lockstar module from GoodLock which adds some incredible unlock animations on the Galaxy phones. Thanks to my friend on X who has shared the APK for this brand new module and it is currently working on the Vaniva 8.5 beta. Not sure about the Vaniva 8.0, you can try it out. I will leave a link for the APK in the description. Now before we go ahead and take a look at the changes and new features, let me me tell you that we have just added a brand new category of wallpapers on Volvers. This is called Fluffy. More than 80 new wallpapers have been added. They are crisp and clear fluffy wallpapers. You can go ahead and check them out. They are pretty cute and some of them are monstrous as well and I'm pretty sure you're going to love them. Go ahead, download the wallpaper application Volvers and don't forget to rate it 5 star on Play Store. That encourages me to keep coming up with more and more contents, more and more wallpapers for you guys. So go ahead, rate the app on Play Store. And while you do that, of course, subscribe to the channel, become a part of Apex community, give this video a like if you find this video informative. Now let's dive right into the video. I have already installed the updated Lockstar module. As you can see, this is the latest version, 8.5.00.8. And in the change log, you can see there are two important points, newly supported on Vaniva 8.5, added new unlock animation effects and added support for manual AOD brightness adjustments. And in the second point it says supported on 8.0 or higher adding text feature. So that might be available on the 8.0. You can try it out. I will anyway showcase that to you in this video. And then there are some bug fixes, fixed fingerprint effect issue, added adjustment for widget corner rounding. So two important bugs which have been fixed with this all new update. Now let's go ahead and open Lockstar module. Let's try this from the lock screen itself. I'll press and hold on the lock screen and unlock the phone and here we will see Lockstar. It's still buggy, sometimes it disappears. Now let me tap on Lockstar here and here you go. We have got the brand new unlock animation option right over here. Let me tap on this and here it is. We have got the animation types and the animation is demonstrated right here. Let me show you the options that we have. We have got slide, expand, spread, Wave, Warp, Ripple, Mosaic, Fade, Wiper, Paint, Glitch. Now these are the options that we have and for each option we have further customization options right below that. For example for slide we have got deeper customization. We can customize it from down, we can set it to up, left or right and you've got the slider using which you can adjust the animation time if you set it to max it is going to be very very slow if you set it to the center this is how it looks and uh, this is where it was by default so this seems to be pretty good the default one and then we do have interpolator you can tap on default option ease in you can see that that's how it looks then we have ease out linear bouncer and custom so you can also customize this based on uh, your requirement. So this is pretty cool. It's a very deep customization now we have for the lock screen FX, which you're not going to see on any other Android phones or iPhones. So that is the beauty of Samsung Galaxy phones. Now let's go to the second one, expand. Now you can see animation time we have and we have got the interpolator. We got spread. For the spread, you can also change the colors over here. Let me select a specific color here. This is white. I'll select this color. You can see we have got various color options and we can change the shape of this. I can select flower. You can see that is the flower effect and we have got a heart. This is the heart effect that we have. So three effect we have currently. Now let me select wave. Again animation time and interpolator. Warp. We have got similar options. Ripple. Same option. Mosaic. We have got an option to increase or decrease the intensity here. This is pretty cool. And uh, we have got fade. Same options, wiper, color option, animation time and interpolator. We have got paint stages here. You can see this is how it looks. This is the maximum stage and this is the minimum stage. So those options are also there with the uh, other default options. Then we have got glitch. We have got noise size customization for the glitch here. <laughs> Look at this. This just looks amazing. I will just reduce it to zero and I'll increase it to max. 
that's how it looks. This is just crazy guys. I'm really surprised to see this on the Galaxy phones. I did expect something new to come on the Lockstar, but this is next level customization we now have on the Lockstar. Now we have looked at the unlock animations. Let's go ahead and check out the other, other features that we have. Let's go to the always on display. Now you can see we've got two additional options here add text, which is also there in the previous page uh, on the lock screen customization. I'll come to that in a bit. Uh, we do have the AOD auto brightness option now. When I tap on this, you can see uh, by default it is set to auto brightness. If you disable it, you get a slider to increase or decrease the brightness. So we can now customize the always on display brightness right from here. Now I'm not someone who used the always on display, so I will just keep it to auto brightness just in case if I set it, let it be on auto brightness. So that's the always on display auto brightness option. Now let's switch back to lock screen. And here we have got the add text option. We already have this help text. When I select help text, the help text will be right here at the bottom and uh, you will be able to move it and you just get a few customization options. As you can see, we can increase or decrease the transparency. You don't get to choose the font or increase the size of the font or decrease the size of the font. Uh, you only get the transparency level and the color options. But with this new option, let me select the add text option. This is a new one. And let me just type app X and I'll tap on OK. Here it is. We have got additional customization options for the text. We can now set the text on the lock screen, which is fantastic. We've got four different font options. We got default and three more fonts available here and we can increase or decrease the text size, text alignment, choose the color that you want. Now let's say I have selected white color and this is the text here. I can increase the size here and let me just change the font here. These are the three fonts that we have. I really wish we had more font options. Some modern looking cool fonts would have been really nice. These are some uh, basic fonts that we have. Let's hope good luck team add some more beautiful fonts on the Lockstar module. Now let me just change the colors here. These are the color options that we have. We also have the color wheel here. There would have been some consistency if they had offered some gradient options here as well. But anyways, this is the text option that we have. We can set the text like this and tap on done. The text will remain there on the lock screen. I'm not a fan of this unless Samsung offers something really cool in terms of fonts. These are some basic fonts that we have here. So let me just remove this from here and delete this. Now similar option is also available on always on display. If I go to always on display, we have got add text option. Again, same options will appear here as well. And there is a reorder option also here for the always on display, but that sometimes disappears. So the app is still buggy. Let's hope that the stable version will come with that reorder option. And we also get some additional text options, font options, and some color options as well. Now, these are some incredible features which Good Lock Team has added on Lockstar. If you're interested, the link for the APK is in the description. If you're on Vaniva 8.5 beta, you can upgrade this application and start using these features. If you're on Vaniva 8, you may be able to use only this add text option for now. But hey, you will anyways get Vaniva 8.5, but you will have to wait for at least a couple of months. We can't do much about that. So anyways, that's all I have here. Hope you have already downloaded our wallpaper application, Volverse and checked out the new category. Don't forget to rate it five star on the Play Store and also subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated with everything that's happening with your phone. Give this video a like. Let's reach at least a thousand likes for this video. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.